Okay, let's open our ready application here. I'm running it on an iPhone 11, uh, iPhone XS simulator. And uh, this will be our main application. So we will have categories, we will have search, basket and profile. So this is a tab bar controller here. And under our categories, we are going to have a collection view with all available categories in it. So we are going to start building our application from this uh, category area. And once we are done, we're going to move one by one to the next sections here. So let's start creating a, a storyboard file. We already have the file. What I'm going to do is just zoom out a bit. You can, if you are using the laptop, you can pinch it on the trackpad or you can click the buttons here, plus minus. And then we are going to need some views here. So scroll down. Once we get our tab bar controller, we can drag this out and position it somewhere next to our initial view. As you can see, it comes with two views attached to it. So currently our tab bar has two views and you can see our application here has four views. So we need four buttons here. For now, I'm going to leave it as two because we're going to concentrate on one only. So before we move on and delete our view here, you can see an arrow here, which basically means that this is the entry point to our application. And what we want to do is to have our tab bar controller as our entry point to our application. So you can either take this arrow, drag and put it here, or you can select the tab bar by clicking the blue, uh, make sure the blue uh, highlighted area is on top. Then you can go to the uh, inspector here and click that this is initial view controller. You see when I uh, deselect it, the arrow disappears. When you select the arrow appears. So the next thing I'm going to do is select my view, hit delete, because we are no longer going to use that view. And also I'm going to select my view controller here and just say delete and move to trash. We're not going to use that one either. Okay, so right now we have one tab bar controller with two view controllers. And in order to make our uh, top view controller, let's zoom in. Here we are going to name our buttons because right now we have item one and item two. So select your item one and the title here, you can change it. Or what we can do is change our uh, button here, because right now we have our uh, button as a square, which basically means that uh, we don't have any button. So what we're going to do is to see what options are given by default to us. And uh, as a category, we don't have anything useful here as a default. So we're going to use our own button image. But the title, I'm going to change it to be category. Hit enter and you will see that the name changed. And the same thing we can do with our item two. And I'm going to call my item two as search. So if I select from my system, we should see if we have any search here. So as you can see, uh, this is default available. So we can just select it and we don't have to put the title. It's there just as from our system. So let's uh, run our application. I have selected iPhone XS just to see if our application is working and if we can see our uh, view here with our tab bar. Give it a few seconds to run and you can see we have two views here a search now it's selected and a category which has no image yet so our application is running smoothly with our new view and in our next lecture we are going to start implementing our category uh, visual interface